Hi, everyone. Welcome to our latest Mech Spotlight video. So, what are we looking at today? Hmm, <laughs> I bet you'll love this one. Meet Vortex, the brand new legendary tank. Interesting. Is there a story behind the name? Well, we'll get to it, but I'll give you a hint. It's got something to do with his ability. Okay, tell me more. You got it. As a tank, it probably doesn't surprise you that Vortex's base speed isn't high at 18 kilometers per hour, but it more than makes up for this in other areas. It's got a decent energy capacity of 24, meaning you can equip it with some real good stuff. Nice. How durable is it, though? Oh, you're gonna love it. Vortex's HP at the highest rank is 269,900, which is extremely cool for any type of mech. Awesome! I can imagine how tough it'll be for the enemies to try to defeat it. I know, right? And these aren't the only details I'd love to share. The biggest ace up Vortex's sleeve is its ability. The nanobot field. Ooh, that sounds impressive. Tell me more. So, it's basically a protective energy field. It decreases the damage received not only by the mech itself, but also its nearby allies by a whole 50%. Not only that, enemies within the ability radius will take extra damage every quarter second. Sounds like a real deal. Whoa, wait. How come it's moving so fast now? That's another cool thing. While the nanobot field is active, Vortex moves twice as fast, making its total speed equal to 36 kilometers per hour. You don't say. That makes it stand out from a lot of different mechs. Exactly. Not cumbersome at all now, huh? So, for such a well-rounded mech, which weapons work best? I'd say Vortex is quite versatile, so you can try all kinds of firepower. However, I'd go with close quarters weapons to start with. Since you want to be in its ability radius anyway, arc torrents, ember guns, and fragment guns are perfect. And, well, I don't mean to spoil the surprise, but there's a new legendary close quarters weapon coming up. And together with Vortex, <laughs> it's gonna rock. Ooh, that sounds like a combo I'd go for. But speaking of other weapons, would the minigun be a good fit? Definitely. Combine its firepower with a nanobot field, move as close as possible to your enemy, and give it the treatment it deserves. Cool. Any other weapon suggestions? Hmm. I'd say anything powerful with a close optimal range. Disruptors, disc launchers, and chain guns would also come in handy. Nice. Any cool tactics for dessert? Of course. First off, Vortex is a perfect choice if you love surprising your enemies with unexpected ambushes. Activate the nanobot field, group up with a powerful and maneuverable ally, and hit the opponent while it's recharging or trying to hide. Act fast, strike hard. Noted. Anything else? Yep. Since Vortex is a tank, your allies would expect you to be the first one moving towards the enemy. With such high durability and the field that cuts the damage you receive in half, it won't be a risky task. Just approach the enemy and activate the ability to make it hurt. Finally, you can use Vortex to protect your allies, whether they need extra cover or time to recharge. Since they also receive reduced damage, it'd be convenient for you to team up with an ally and move around together, making some serious mess. Kinda draws the whole battle in around it. I see why Vortex is a perfect choice for a name. Wow, I can't wait to try it out. No time like the present. Let's hit the arena. Okay then, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit like, let us know what you think of Vortex, and subscribe to our channel to keep an eye on all things Macarena. See you next time. Bye. Bye.